I thought I might vlog today. I've, um, it's, uh, it's approaching 10 o'clock and it was a late, it's a late extraction from bed this morning because I went out with some friends last night and, um, I think I got home around midnight or so, which is not late, but it is late for me. So probably slept until about eight o'clock. Woke up, read some beautiful messages from you guys on my latest video, the uh, the accidental micro influencer. Honestly, I'm so lucky to have you all watching my videos. Uh, Mr. Addiction went and got some fresh croissants and made me coffee in bed, and I've literally been trying to get all the crumbs out of the bed. The best and the worst thing about croissants is that flaky pastry. Um, oh, hello. Someone's going to help me find some crumbs. Edwina, what you doing? Are you on the hunt? Are you on the hunt? Um, so, yeah, obviously I'm in my gym gear now. So the neighbours are mowing. It's what people do on Saturdays when the weather is good after being so bad for so long. So I am going to um, make up for last night and I'm going to go hit the peloton and then we'll have a bit of a chat and just catch up on some things. Got some updates on the Fendi made to order process, uh, some bags that I am looking at, which may surprise you, and a conversation around controversial materials. So before I turn on my fan and you can't hear me very well, I just thought I'd show you what pops up when I turn on my Peloton. I love how it kind of looks at rides you've done previously and says, hey, you might just want to do these and makes it really simple. Now, the instructors I love the most um, are Hannah. Whoops, let's go back. Go back here. I didn't mean to press on that. So let's go. There's Hannah, Bradley Rose, um, Jen. Jen is hardcore. Like if you want to do a 20 minute class, always pick Jen because she's got this gift of knowing the beat of the music really well. And even if I don't like the playlist so much, I know that she will keep me motivated. Kendall, I find like just way too hard for me. Like she's just another, another level. Um, I really love how fun, where is he? Cody. There's a guy called Cody Rigsby. He is super fun. Um, why isn't he coming up here? Oh, there he is, because he's got a live class. And how much time's gone? Too much of it. So that's, I've never caught a live class on the Peloton yet because the class times are all not great if you're in Australia. They're not early enough in the morning if you've got a full-time job and they're not, you know, early enough in the evening um, for the same reason. So. This one here, I'm gonna check it out. So I'll tell you how I pick a class. It's like, I look at the time and then I wanna look at the music and then I can look at the playlist and, ah, oh, I've already done this ride. Okay, so um, this one was a really great ride actually. I'd do it again, 30 minute pop ride. It's got a mixture of speed and also resistance. Um, but let's go back to this one here, Hannah Corbin, and see, this one's a 30 minute 2000s ride. Um, I always look at the music first, as I said, so, okay, we've got a mixture. We've got some alternative, we've got some NSYNC, Lady Gaga, okay, pink, right, we've got a few of that. Then the next thing I do is I look at the target metrics for the class to get a gist of what are we gonna be doing most of, cadence or resistance or both. So this looks like a class that I like because I like having climbs in my classes and I also like this kind of interval work, which is what this kind of gives me the impression of, like short highs, short lows, um, you know, in a, little, in a little pattern like that. So it'll basically tell me up here that if I typically hit that kind of score, um, then that's like an achievable class for me. Then I can look at how people have rated this, 7.2 out of 10, and go, yeah, I'll give that a go. Um, 
and so yeah I might do this one so when I hit start uh, it'll ask me to connect my Apple Watch which you do just by putting your hand up here like that touch it touch it there we go and then it says do you want to connect and I say okay and then the session starts now I can't show you because obviously there's music on Peloton and that will you know YouTube doesn't like licensed music but um, what I'll do is I'll just flick the screen around to give you an indication of what you know how I set up for success so once I hit done the music's going to start so first of all you've got cadence which is how many how fast you're going you've got your output and resistance which is how much resistance that you're going to use and you've got this knob here to control resistance and the output is the combination of your cadence and resistance together and I always try and make sure that mine's over a hundred that's like the basic part of it and then over here's the leaderboard there's an all time and then there's a here now so I just hit here now and see who I'm riding with in the peloton for my race I've got a fan that blows air directly on me and I've got an air conditioner that blows cold air on me as well so um, I don't drink water during the workout I drink afterwards so on that note I am going to do my workout and I'll see you later I achieved a PB for this one. Six out of 36 people that were here now. Smash that strive score. I press my medal. It's a personal best. Thanks, guys. Ooh. So here's a reality check. Mr. Addiction just got home with a new motorbike. So um, I think that means a couple of handbags are coming my way. <laughs> oh, dear. We're never ending. So I'm going to go to my profile, whoops, I'm going to go to my profile here and you can see my stats. So I've missed a couple of days this month, so this shows you how much I've worked out in the last month or so. Um, I've had a nine week streak. Um, let me just see, I know this, um, the quality of this is not great. Anyway, you can see for the last 30 days, right? So I've done 38 workouts so far for the last 30 days. So every second day, I think that's good. Um, calories burned and all that. All my awards, which they don't really mean much. If I go to workout history, it shows all the workouts that I've done. So for this one, I got the best, my best output. And it's always good to know you're in the top 6,294 of the 25,000 people that have done that ride. Um, uh, something interesting to note, this ride was hard. So if you look at the heart rate zones, see where I spent most of my time was in zone four. I went into the red zone for a little bit. Um, so it was tough and you can see my output and cadence so this kind of, this stuff's kind of interesting to know like what's been your best resistance so far and how long can you do it and you can really track your fitness over time I find that speed is um, becoming my friend I used to hate speed and love the climbs but now you know I feel like I have um, I've overcome that and I quite enjoy the cadence workouts as well so this is what March looks like so far. If we have a look at February, so every blue dot is a day that I worked out. In January, I got the bike on the 12th and you can see how much I loved it. So yeah, I thought that would just be a good little introduction to the Peloton. I will do a full review at some stage. Mr. Addiction is very happy with his new motorbike. So I've gone and celebrated and now we need to hydrate. So I, um, I've been trying this new collagen drink. <sighs> I'm so hot. That was a really hard workout. I've been trying this new collagen peptide drink by the Collagen Company. 
It's an Australian company. They sent me a pack of three different flavors to try and review on my channel. So I'm doing a review and I didn't want to do a review until I'd been using them for a couple of weeks. So today I'm having the passion fruit mango one. And for someone who is not a sweet tooth, I did not think that I would really enjoy these. I, there's three, as I said, there's three flavors. One's passion fruit mango, one's strawberry and watermelon. It just helps if you put it into a little bit of water to start it off. And one is unflavored. And I thought that I would prefer the unflavored one because I've seen a lot of people add these collagen peptides, like hyaluronized collagen peptides to coffee and things like that. Um, but you need about 400 mils of water to actually dissolve the product. And I don't have a coffee that's that big. I have a short coffee. So I, um, yeah. Putting it in my coffee is not an option and I don't do smoothies, so also not an option. So here's what it looks like. It's like a really healthy cordial. <laughs> but it's about 66 calories. I put a bit of um, dried citrus in mine to make it a little bit special. But they're about 66 calories for one and they recommend one to two per day, but I think um, the reason I wanted to try it is collagen. It's in your hair, skin, nails, your joints, your ligaments, all of that jazz. And you know, this girl, she's in her early 40s and she, well, I've just realized I'm not looking at the camera, the camera's over there, what an idiot. Um, and you know, anything helps, right? But in the research that I've done, um, Co collagen and peptide supplements only really work if you've got enough protein in your diet anyway. And then the additional supplement helps you to retain and absorb more of the plumping stuff. So not just the stuff that keeps you going. Um, the pink one is my favorite. This is the strawberry and watermelon. And I have this with a bit of orange too. It looks like a cosmopolitan. You would have seen that in some of my videos. Um, this box, I think there are like 14 serves, yep, 14 sachets per box. I received it a couple of weeks ago and I wanted to use it for a good fortnight. And this is the unflavored one, which is unopened. So if you want to try it, I'm happy to give this one away. Within Australia, I'll pay postage. You just contact me in the DMs and let me know you want it. And the first person to do so, I will send it to you. So what have I noticed as a difference? Um, to be honest, it's really hard in two weeks to notice a difference, but there's two key things that I think absolutely are connected to taking this drink every day. One is my hair is way softer. So I've got color treated hair, I had bleached my hair and it was getting really, really um, coarse. And I thought that that had something to do with the color. I have used the same shampoo and conditioner over that period and the only thing I've done differently is to take this and I think my hair is a lot softer and silkier. It brushes out more easily after a shower and I don't lose as much hair. So I think that, that I can definitely associate that change with this change because I haven't done anything differently. And the other thing is um, my recovery after Peloton, I'm not getting that, that um, the joint soreness. So my knees, not that they were ever really sore, but you know, just achy knees, achy lower back. I'm not getting that so much. And you saw how much I've been working out, like quite a lot. Sorry, I'm really thirsty. Um, yeah, so I can't say that my skin is any plumper or because I, I don't know, I, I haven't noticed that it is. Look at it now, it's all red and blotchy. I'm sure this is what they imagined when they had an influencer reviewing their product. <laughs> Keeping it real, guys. Um, and I can't tell you about my nails because I have a builder polish on my nails, which is just a, uh, a light set nail polish. It's not shellac, it's more like a mixture between shellac and acrylic, um, where it's a lot stronger 
than a shellac, so I can't see my nails. And But my nails are in good condition, and I guess, you know, the fact that they're not breaking or anything, I'd say there's no noticeable difference from that perspective. But if you want to try and, um, you know, see if this works for you, you can get 15% off by using my code, which I'll put on the screen here and in the description box below with the link. And um, yeah, try something different for yourself. There's a few different views around, you know, whether or not something that you take from a dietary supplement can actually really be that effective if it's not in your blood. And from the numerous research videos that I watched, it sounds like, yes, you can, um, but you do need to have a good diet to start with. So this is not a replacement, it's a supplement. So it, you, you add it on, it's complementary um, to what you already do. And I feel like at 66 calories, as I said, it's really refreshing. Like this one, I didn't do a great job of mixing it up, but that's because I put it into a wet glass instead of a dry glass because I was not concentrating, but it's still all mixed up. It's beautiful. One thing I tried to do with it that I would not recommend is to put soda water in because I love sparkling water. I thought I'll make this into a fizzy drink. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> It uh, just overflows everywhere, so don't do that. So if you want proof that I've been using them, this is how many I've got left. Three left out of 14 for the pink one, my fave, and a few more left out of the 14 for the passion fruit mango. But um, yeah, it's very surprisingly not sickly sweet. So my Fendi SA has left. Uh, and I didn't know that it was happening. She had been on leave for a little while and then I got a message to say that it was her last day and I didn't get a chance to say goodbye or anything because I got the message after she'd finished work. Uh, so yeah, um, a fair bit of Fendi news for me. So I'm sorry that, um, that she's gone and I... So yeah, that kind of threw me a little bit because I wasn't, uh, you know, I don't know why I would be aware, but anyway, I wasn't expecting that. And with all the things happening around Fendi at the moment, uh, I thought, well, I need to get organized. And so I went into the city yesterday specifically to go to Fendi and have a chat to them around um, connecting with a new client advisor um, somebody who is in the store full time, who is responsive to texts, who shows some initiative around um, sharing uh, information from the catwalks and the pre-order process. Um, and I guess has a bit of a clue around what I like and sends me things before they launch because you just can't afford to wait until something hits the boutique and hope that you get it. It just, if you're somebody who loves these things, you need to know, you need to know the moment it's on the catwalk, what the release dates are, when they're available for pre-order and to be able to put a deposit down because otherwise you've got Buckley's chance and none of getting what you want. So I had a really great conversation with a woman in Fendi, Brisbane, um, which, you know, is, is kind of, I guess, what you need to do. You've got to treat it like any other network or relationship that you have and, and make sure that you go and you know what each other wants and you're connected and it's very transparent. So yesterday I did that. Also yesterday, my one of my wonderful subscribers, I've got, I've got so many, um, shared with me her sales associates uh, details in Sydney because my made to order appointment is with another great friend and uh, and subscriber of mine. And Sydney had an overflow of demand. And so our appointment is actually being managed through Melbourne Boutique. Um, and the trunk that has all of the samples and swatches and buckles and everything is in Sydney at the moment. And I'll put some footage in here that I've stolen from Instagram. Uh, 
And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I need to see this stuff. I'll fly to Sydney, we'll have a look at it before this trunk goes to Melbourne. Anyway, it seemed a little bit of a challenge to try and arrange that. And so my friend who I was talking about, she shared her client advisor with me and she has offered to FaceTime me next week and take me through the trunk before it leaves for Melbourne so that I can see everything, even if I can't see it and touch it in person, which was my original plan. I can see everything and go through it in some detail before we have our Zoom uh, meeting with Rome later on in the month. So um, like just goes to show how important network and relationships are and, and how you can connect with people who can help you out um, with these things. So now I've got this beautiful web of Fendi lovers and client advisors and we're all working together to satisfy those Fendi needs and like that's how cool is that? That's just one of the great things about being on this platform. So here's the thing I wanted to share with you guys up front because I feel like this is going to be quite a divisive situation and I just want to put it out there. I'm not asking for permission. I'm not, I'm not apologizing for my choice, but I do know that people feel very strongly about these things. So when I do my made to order, uh, there's a couple of things that I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking about, um, and I'm not sure if this will be a baguette or a peekaboo. It'll probably be a baguette. Mm, I'm not sure. I'd like to do a couple of designs. So let me just talk through the first idea, um, the raffia. So there is the opportunity to have a raffia bag made with your name instead of Fendi in it. So chasing, chasing Amy, chase Amy, Amy, anyway, she has this Fendi pouch. I'll put a picture of it up here. So imagine that in baguette, but with my name on it. So that's an option. Uh, iconic bag, iconically egotistical with your name on it. Um, so that's one option and that's great that the neighbor's dog has now started barking. Normally it's my dogs and that's not a problem. Um, there is a cane kind of fabric, which I'll see if I can show you. And fabric embroidery. I think that that would suit much better for a peekaboo. But then there's what I am really interested in having a look at too, which would be my second design for the baguette. Uh, and it's mink. And Fendi's origins stem back to fur and mink. And I know it's extraordinarily controversial and I know that people have very strong feelings about it. I feel like there are a lot of materials that we use every day that we don't question that are more controversial than these and I, I'm not looking for lectures or opinions I'm just saying that um, I'm considering having my baguette um, made in mink or exotics and or a combination of the two and if that's something that is you're not comfortable with I totally understand and I won't be offended at all if you see that I'm talking about my made to order in a video and you switch off because that's not something that you want to hear about. That's absolutely your prerogative and your choice and that's cool. But I wanted to flag it here because I, you know, it's my choice and it's an informed choice and I'm not going to make a business case for why I'm making that choice other than that's what I want to pursue in my design. And yeah and i feel like i want to let you know that so that you can decide how you feel about it and then decide what you do as a result of that oh my goodness this is hard work thanks to caitlin palowski i have been creating 10 looks ways to style the chanel classic flap and i'm so hot and bothered now i can't be bothered filming so tomorrow's video will be late but just so you can see, I've got the bag down here and I've got all the shoes. I have been working hard 
outfits are prepared. Look forward to the upload because I've worked hard on this. I'm finally wearing this Shots New York leather jacket, Maiden Voyage on the Hog. OOTD, age white t-shirt because I'll need that when we get to the other end. We're going for a pizza. Valentino boots. I can wear these when I'm going long haul, so I don't need to worry about bugs flat on those. And Chanel walk. Celine Sunnies. Not your average Harley outfit, but that's how I roll. Catch ya. Um, over ordered as per usual and uh, now we're feeling a little bit roly-poly look at all the beautiful artwork around this place it's beautiful we're in South Brisbane there's a little sun shower happening part of uh, being a big bad biker you gotta put up with the weather whatever it throws you I like this um, mural over here too. I'm not sure if you can see it. Anyway, we are heading home, getting on the bike with a big roly poly belly. Will be challenging. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a scooter. <laughs> oh dear. One of these, more comfortable. Thanks, darling. It's lovely of you. <laughs> 